Hi, welcome to the second part of this tutorial. Let's get started. Take the PCB and cut it to the desired shape. Presenticide PCBs are light sensitive, so it is better to use them under red or low light. Take off the protective film from both sides of the PCB and place it in the artwork folder we prepared in the previous tutorial. Secure everything with some tape and try to be as precise as possible so both layers will match. Place the PCB 6 inches under CFL light for 8 to 12 minutes each side. Meanwhile, we will be preparing our developing solution. Put on some gloves and eye protection when dealing with chemicals. Use one part positive developer for 10 parts of water. Be careful, if the solution is concentrated, it might remove all the resist. Remove the artwork and place the PCB in the solution. Gently shake the tray and flip the board so both sides get similar exposure to the chemicals. Because the exposure to light wasn't the same for both sides, I will use a brush to remove the excess resist on the component side. Rinse the board and put it in a tray, then add ferric chloride to it. You can heat the solution for faster etching. Turn the board every 5 minutes until all the unprotected copper is gone. Note that all the chemicals can be reused. 
please contact your city hazardous material department to be informed of the proper way of disposing your chemicals. Rinse the board with water and use acetone to remove any remaining resist. Rinse the board again with water and place it in a tray then pour some liquid tin on it. Rinse the board one more time. Thank you for watching the second part of this video. Subscribe to our channel if you want to get informed of our new video and click on the link below to watch the first part of this tutorial. Thank you.